Now we'll come to the topic one that's about employee empowerment concept. As we already discussed, employee empowerment is nothing but we try to delegate the authority to one junior level positions people by taking a decision making on their own on small small issues. Even though the blanket kind of an you know authority may not be there with the junior level, but at at least you know they should be in a position to take a call on what decision making has to be done at the junior level so that's what exactly you know uh, employee empowerment is all about let's look at the definition of an employee empowerment the decision of an you know definition of an employee empowerment it talks about we invest the people with authority that means you are you are sharing the various degree of power with the lower level employee so that they can serve the customer very better Say for example, uh, you know there is an uh, you know kind of a research has been done at the production level, at the lower level production technical areas. If you are if you have been given an empowerment or probably the kind of a decisions uh, making authority has been given to them, they can able to correct the deviations or any kind of an you know error then and then quickly. Rather, you know, the, the kind of an organization where the empowerment has not been given, the technical kind of an error could not be able to achieve that quickly, you know, when, when there is authority has not been given. Another major thing is it's more psychological rather than really, you know, kind of an power. What is the kind of a psychology is involved is when a junior level or a low level employees have been empowered or when, we, when you try to share the power with them, automatically they will feel that they are part of the business they will get oriented towards the job quickly and when they get oriented towards the job quickly they will take to the perfection and ultimately you know they will do a better kind of an you know job satisfaction and ultimately productivity can be enhanced that's an idea behind doing an employee empowerment and ultimately you know you are making every employee accountable for whatever kind of an action or probably job they do that's an idea behind employee empowerment now let's try to look at uh, what is the goals of an employee empowerment the primary goal of an employee empowerment is to uh, give an workers a greater kind of a voice and decisions about work related matters the work related matters even an employee will feel that we are also part of the decision making instead of cribbing about you know uh, the situations they can take a call they can take a decision making ultimately you know they can do what exactly suits practically so that's an idea behind it the second kind of a thing is actually you know decision making authority can range from you know let's say what is the kind of a decision making capacity can be provided to a lower employee generally a leader or probably the immediate boss will have a general psycho that uh, you know uh, what you call as a fear that if the decision making has been given to the employee, lower level employee, then the organization control will be get lost. The organization structure will be restructured or probably completely, you know, the organization, uh, you know, because of the wrong decision making, things can go wrong. Such kind of a fear will be there. Again, to overcome that particular fear, we can do one thing. Instead of giving the entire authority, the decision making can be starts from just giving a suggestion and from a suggestion to you know probably up to a veto power veto power is nothing but any kind of a management decision making where the employee is also part of the particular you know uh, panel or probably the uh, judgment area so that's a way if you look into it actually you know we can the decision making authority can range from offering just a suggestion it can go up to veto power level so these are the ways different kind of you know uh, suggestions or probably the decision making authority can be provided and veto power is basically for a top level management uh, any decision has to be taken the employer also is part of the decision making authority so that's the way it works on and other kind of a possible uh, areas include how a job has to be performed and uh, working conditions has to be maintained company policies has to be worked out and work hours and uh, what is the kind of a peer review and how supervisors are actually you know doing their job to do all these things you know uh, it will be very very easy if you have, if we are given an empowerment so we cannot think that you know it's more of an uh, what you call it is uh, completely losing your control but it is all about you know taking a collective kind of an you know, opinion from the employee side so these are the ways actually you know uh, the employee empowerment can be looked into it and uh, employee empowerment is the current kind of a trend and practices uh, in the new kind of a leadership era so now let's try to look at what is the benefits of an em empowerment by doing an empowerment uh, 
every employee will feel that they are owners of the business that's a kind of you know orientation they will have to give to, you know towards the business and the sec next thing is actually you know when they f when they are actually you know feel that they are owners of the business naturally you know the productivity the kind of you know contribution to from their side will be much much higher than you know uh, the kind of a traditional method where there is no, they are not involved so when they are highly involved they will feel that entrepreneurial ability and second thing is actually you know they will productivity level will be highly improved and the third one is when the productivity level highly improved since they are highly involved in the business uh, the, you know decision making as well as uh, performing a job naturally they will try to exercise a lot of creativity and innovation part of it and they'll be highly customer oriented and customer focused kind of a way they will work and uh, quickly decision making can be taken and ultimately you know the job will be get things done and ultimately overall organization will learn because every employee will feel that you know they need to do something different so when they do something different when there is a creativity and innovation is involved automatically overall department you know learning goes up the process improves overall organization also learns and ultimately you know it's, it's all about we'll make the em entire employee resources actually human resources can be completely utilized and engaging the mind of every employee not even a single employee will feel dejected or probably you know demotivated they will be highly motivated they would like to you know contribute more and more towards the organization that's the benefits of an empowerment and now let's try to look at it how an empowered people will behave uh, when we talk about empowered people uh, there is a famous psychology called uh, Gretchen uh, Spritz uh, found that employees who feel empowered share the following you know four beliefs uh, first belief is meaning meaning in the sense like whatever kind of work or a duty has been allocated to them they will do that you know very effectively and the next one is the competence they will feel that you know they can able to do best kind of a job ability to effectively complete or his work uh, you know uh, related role and there will be a lot of self determination when we talk about self determination they will have a feel, believe that they have the freedom at the same time they will know what kind of an approach and right kind of an you know pathway to choose so that you know without being miss uh, you know micromanaged uh, without being you know probably get disturbed by any other interference they should be able to you know do the job very very smoothly and uh, it will be flawless kind of a thing and ultimately it will have an impact on the overall organizational outcome that means in terms of the productivity they will provide best out of them so that means entire resources we can utilize it to the maximum extent so that's a major idea behind going for an empowerment uh, that's what the kind of you know scenario most of the japanese based companies are following uh, take an example of toyota as a company uh, application of empowerment uh, uh, because of that you know they have become very very successful so if you take an example of toyota motor company uh, empower some of its employees to identify and help the remedy problem occurring during a product assembly so when the employee at the technical level or that is the junior level has been given an empowerment to find out the fault the assembly line you know in the point where they could able to find out an opportunity to deliver what is exactly cause for the defect they could able to find out that and they could able to rectify at the root cause level itself so that's a major advantage and second thing is actually you know most of the solution comes from the employee and employee involvement and ultimately you know more employees uh, uh, what you call it is uh, try to pro uh, contribute more than you know what they they are actually been doing that's a major advantage and ultimately we could able to solution you know generate a lot of solution from the front line uh, that will enhance the potential of productivity improvement so these are the ways actually you know the toyota company could able to grow over a period of time what you call your kaizen kaizen method they could able to apply it very very effectively kaizen is nothing but a continuous improvement and uh, that possible without you know that's not possible without uh, the employee contribution for that again you know uh, this will be more and more uh, useful so let's look at the conditions for favoring an empowerment uh, if your em employee empowerment has to happen fundamentally employee should have a good education and training level and uh, you need to you know properly keep training and provide them a better kind of an education and your organization climate should allow the employee to you know come for uh, should feel that actually you know they come forward and then contribute a lot of suggestions and ultimately you know it is actually access to the information 
keep uh, updating the trend aspect of it and ultimately your organization politics should support that when we talk about organizational politics using a power using a kind of you know other uh, uh, what you call it as associations these employee empowerment should not be snubbed out the political support should be there ultimately you know people should influence by taking the right kind of a decision making and ultimately employee empowerment also has to be you know contributed for the overall organization development and uh, work uh, you know span of uh, control will be there completely there will be an you know work like uh, work uh, completely work span of control will be there and you have a loyal kind of you know uh, what do you call it as uh, uh, people will be there and ultimately low role ambiguity the role ambiguity can be you know clear that means the role clarity will be there in the entire thing so these are the kind of an objectives or probably the advantages of going for an uh, employee empowerment